So like I was saying, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Android's the better phone? Or do you think the iPhone 4S is the better phone, to be honest? Like I said, I don't use either phone, but if I really had to sit down and use a phone, it could be the iPhone because it's so easy to use. It doesn't take any learning curves. But if you if you really want to customize your phone to it, basically having a custom phone, you have so much more options. Like I said in the beginning of this video, you have the screen real estate, you have the screen si size difference, you have phones that can shoot 720p, phones that can do 1080p. Um, you can customize your keyboards. You can do so much more customization stuff to your phones than you can do with iOS. But to be honest, when it comes to a lot of phones, I just want to pick up the phone like my BlackBerry, take it out of the package, and start using it. Start sending emails, uh, tweets, and uh, Facebook updates. I don't really want to sit there and customize stuff. That's just my opinion. But I would love to hear what you guys got to say in the comment section below. Like I said, I don't use either phone, but I would love to hear what you guys got to say in the uh, comment section below rate hate and comment and please subscribe hey what's up guys um, here's some reasons why I think you should buy Android over iOS and to be honest I don't use any of the operating systems you idiot so don't say you're an iPhone user you're an Android fanboy no I'm a Blackberry fanboy so there's a difference this is just my um, thing because I see people using Android all the time and I see iOS users all the time and I've talked to both uh, people my brother's a hardcore Android lover and my uh, homie here on YouTube chisel my nizzle 187 is a hardcore iPhone user and I've talked to both of them and what I see is when it comes to Android a lot of people love the customizations Basically, you can get a custom phone. You can go to, let's say, Verizon. You're not limited to the Apple to one phone. You can go get an LG. You can get Samsung. You can get TouchWiz. You can get uh, HTC Sense. You can get stock Android. You can get 3.2 inch screens all the way up to 4.6 screens. And a lot of people are saying the 4.0 screens the 4.6 screens are all really good because that screen real estate and it's very easy to use and one thing for average consumers who are not tech friendly who do not know cell phones when you go to Verizon and you see the Samsung Galaxy S and you see the Droid Incredible and the Samsung Nexus S you do not know that's Android a lot of people go in there and they're like oh I'm gonna play with this phone and they pick another phone up they don't realize that's all versions of Android. It's just the interface is uh, customized differently for that phone. So that could be another downfall for Android and another thumbs up for uh, iOS because when you say iPhone, the average consumer knows what it is. But when you say, I have the Samsung Galaxy S, well, I have the Samsung Nexus S, well, I have the Samsung Vibrant, they don't all realize, a lot of people don't realize, that's the same operating system with just a different interface. and just on a different phone so I've talked to so many people they pick up like the Droid Incredible and they pick up like a uh, Epic 4G they don't realize those are two Android phones maybe running one might be Honeycomb one might be Froyo but they don't realize oh those are uh, the same operating system they just think oh they're two different phones so that can like I said that could be a downfall for people trying to buy Android phones over iOS very, it's much easier to type on a lot of people say that iPhone is limited in itself just to a 3.5 inch screen and and um and when you think about the iPhone and what it is everybody always assumes the iPhone's the best phone it has the best touch screen and it doesn't lag sometimes it does lag I've used the iPhone before and like the Verizon store and you you pinch the zoom really quick and it kind of lags a little bit but that's just uh, probably the phone in the store but like I said when it comes to Android you have so much more customization you can customize the keyboard you can um, do so much stuff you can get custom basically like a custom phone basically you get you go to the store you're, like I said you're not limited you got you can get basically 720p screens you can get phones record 720p phones record 1080p 
you got TouchWiz, you got uh, basically stock Android. Then on the other hand, you got Apple who basically makes the software, the hardware, everything. Unless you jailbreak the iPhone, but I'm not talking about jailbreaking. I'm talking about just take the iPhone out of the package and use it without cut, without um, jailbreaking it. Really, what can you do with the phone besides download application? You really can't really customize it all that much, but that's why a lot of people use it because it's so easy to use and there's no learning curve to use the iPhone. And when it comes to the um, Android operating system, it does take some time to learn the operating system and actually figure out this is what it does. And you get like, you can on some of those phones, you get seven home screens. They can customize to your liking. Um, like I said, you can get different screen sizes. You can get on any carrier. You can get an Android phone. You can get Android phones as low as forty bucks up to three hundred dollars. So that's a good thing. That's why they say Android is outselling iOS because iOS is only stuck on basically now three of the major carriers in the U.S. and Another thing, they're limiting themselves because they don't have a they don't have like a high end iPhone and a cheaper iPhone. I mean, yeah, a lot of people are like, well, you can get the three GS. Yeah, I guess that would be a low end iPhone, I guess. But a lot of people would want a bigger screen. A lot of iPhone users are saying this too. They want bigger screens. But if you're stuck in Apple's um, OS where you're using their iTunes. You're using um, the Apple App Store. You're using an iMac. Then yes, you're gonna want a Apple phone because you're already using iTunes. But I think when you use um, Android, you get the Google Music, you got Google Cloud, you got Gmail, um, Google Maps, Google Voice Search. All those are what stock and. Um, I'd really love to hear what you guys got to say. Do you